I remember the first time I found out I was a girl. It was in East Orange, New Jersey, my hometown, on Lincoln Street and Park Ave, Jackson Academy. I was in the first grade. Psst. Psst. Jaleese. Jaleese. Look underneath the table. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had no idea exactly what I discovered that day. I didn't know what it meant. I just knew it meant I was different. And I would grow up. What's up, little man? Fearing that one question. Hold on, hold on. She probably gay. Is that a girl? Oh, shit. Oh, that's a girl. Oh, Dying. girls can't play basketball. <laughs> she wanna be a man. Always around them boys. Oh. See. <laughs> one of the boys. Girl wasn't something anybody could explain to me. Everybody <laughs> else. I didn't know why everybody asked me about it. What was it about me that made you question it? See, I would learn that it meant during basketball I wasn't fit to be a real competitor. It meant if I made a shot, then... Oh, shit, she balling! Oh, she got it, she got it! She ball better than you, bro. And if I missed it, well... Well, she a girl. And that one time that... Somebody tried to get into my head. Instead of just assuming, a kid one day asked me while I was chilling on that colorful rug that, you know, being like school classrooms. He looked at me and was like, Why do you dress like that? Why do you dress like that? And before I could even fix my lips to say anything, because I ain't never been asked that question. The teacher's no. like, no, you will not ask her questions like that. No, it's inappropriate, no. See, the thing about memories, it's like the worst part ain't even the pain. It was all it's the loneliness of it. Memories need to be shared. They're not just about the past, they determine our future as well. You could change things and you could make things better. I can make things better. I'll break. I'll break. I'll break. I'll break. I'll break. I'll break.